This method can help answer key questions in the sports bar mechanical field about the launch performance of badminton players. The main advantage of this technique is that it reproduces actual badminton movement, so the data is highly reliable. The implications of this technique extend toward the therapy of sports injuries because changes in the joint over angle while playing badminton are likely to result in injury. On the day of the evaluation, have the subject wear a t-shirt and tight shorts and the same brand of badminton shoes as the rest of the subjects in the study. Measure the subject's height in millimeters and weight in kilograms, as well as the length of both the left and right legs in millimeters from the superior iliac spine to the ankle internal condyle, the knee widths in millimeters from the medial to the lateral knee condyle, and the ankle widths in millimeters from the medial to the lateral ankle condyle. Palpate to identify the anatomical landmarks and shave any body hair as needed, followed by disinfection with alcohol. Then mark the skin over the anatomical bony landmarks and paste the eight markers on the identified areas on each leg. When all of the markers have been placed, ask the subject to perform a right forward lunge naturally to make sure that the markers on their lower limbs are captured by the cameras. Have the subject continue to perform the right forward lunge at a comfortable low speed in the simulated court until they can perform the movement steadily. After having the subject perform some auxiliary exercises to warm up, ask the subject to perform the right forward lunge.